The following program contains flash photography. Viewer's discretion is advised. February the 12th, 2017. The gate of the Bayelsa State Government House was thrown open for jubilant women who had come to welcome the Bayelsa governor's wife, Dr. Rachel Dixon, who would be arriving with her quadruplets after a safe delivery abroad. A mammoth crowd had thronged the King of Glory Chapel in Government House to witness the dedication of the quadruplets. After the service, the women created a carnival scene escorting the Bayelsa first family to their apartment. We are all happy, filled with joy, extremely happy, particularly for it happening in our time. It portend good things when something joyful happens around you you know you are happy and for the family we should all join them to thank God first of all thank God and she did to me something that we need to copy she went to the chapel first on her arrival in Nigeria went to the chapel first dedicated all the children to God and that tells the story God has done it we must continue to praise his name. The mother, the father did so well that they have to take them first to the house of God because that is where they were, you know, made to come from. And so giving them back to God is the ultimate, and that is awesome. Um, I think um, for us, um, as servants of the state, we are so happy, we are so elated for this feat and that God Almighty at last has done what we were expecting, wonderful gift to Bayelsa State. For them to step into the house of God before coming home, that, that is a symbol that you can only find from a man that knows that they came from God and is holding them in trust for God. So for us, it's not new, we're not surprised, but we want to give God the glory that this has come today. We wish mother, we wish children and the father good health, God's protection, that the grace of God, the mercy of the Lord Almighty will continue to guide and protect them even as they grow. Anything they eat shall not do them harm. They shall continue to live in good health and the Lord that has brought them to Bayelsa State will keep and guide them in Jesus' name. <laughs> Sunday, January the 14th, was celebration time for the children of Bayelsa. It was not the usual children's party in government house, but the one-year birthday celebration of the quadruplets. <laughs> Alexander, Alairi, Ebiware, and Ebimere Dixon were having their first outing and interaction with the children who had come to celebrate with them. The Bayelsa governor has a message for parents. 
a healthy family begins with how we bring up our children. A good state, a good community begins with how we raise our children. A good nation begins with how every child is raised and how we help them to actualize their potentials. Beyond gathering, beyond praying, praying is good. Continue to pray and bless them. But we should also continue to remind ourselves about our duties as parents and guardians uh, in whichever way to impact the right values and lessons. I want to thank you for coming to the first birthday of our children. On behalf of their father, the governor of the state, Governor Dixon, and myself, the mother, with a heart full of gratitude to this great God, we thank you for coming to celebrate with us. On behalf of their daughter and grandmother, who is always with them every day and every night, we welcome every one of you. And we say, because you've come to celebrate with us, celebration shall not cease in your family. And I say, may this great God of heaven answer you and give you a cause to celebrate just as we are celebrating. Even as you've come to celebrate with us, enjoy yourself and may God grant every one of us journey messes back home. It may be just a birthday party, but friends of the family did not come in short supply. I thank God for today, for the family, you know, I've been associated with them very closely for quite a number of years now. And it's a day we've been looking for, and for a child of this nature, all you can pray is that their coming to the family will be an opportunity for more doors, more good doors to be opened for the family. And if that is done, then you know that what they need to grow is wisdom, knowledge, understanding, respect for their parents, understanding the community, and above all, like the father, who is one of the foremost regional nationalists we have today, not forgetting their background, not forgetting their roots, to continue from wherever the father will stop. But it's going to be a very big task, really. The standard set for them is so high, so they have every reason to be prayed for, to get knowledge, understanding the energy, to work, to fulfill the promise that we all see that they have today. That we are celebrating the quadruplets of our governor and his wife. Um, as any other father would wish his uh, children to become, I wish them many more years, I wish them good health. I wish them a healthy life. Um, growing up, we believe that uh, they will become great children. And not just great children, they will become children that will be of benefit to the state. We wish that these ones will remain shining stars to their generation and to the world at large. That they will be always be on top, they will never fall down below. That the glory of God, which is obviously on them now, will remain with them all through their lives. Goodness shall never depart from them. And I know that the God that we serve, the God of the John nation, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, will guide and protect them. Evil ones will not see them, and evil shall not come near them, because they are children of destiny, and they will live to accomplish their vision. As their father and mother producing and providing goodness to the people of Bayesa State, 
goodness will never cease from them, and they will grow in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I wish them the best because indeed they are a gift to the family, and it is God's gift. I pray for them to live a life of God. These are miraculous children. They are a living miracle. I pray for God's blessings and God's preservation upon their life and they will fulfill destiny in Jesus' name. The Almighty God will continue to strengthen them, grant them that grace that they need to forge ahead in life because they are wonderful children. They are the blessings that God gave to Bayesa. And my prayer again, like I said before, that God Almighty will guide them, prosper them, and grant them that grace of intelligence, that excellent spirit of Daniel is what I wish this for the place. My wish for them is to, for God to protect them, continue to enable them grow from strength to strength. May they also grow to become leaders of Bayelsa State and leaders of Nigeria. It was pleasant fun for children who had all the time in the world to dance and entertain themselves at the birthday party of four. My prayer for the kids is that they should always grow well and no, and no evil doing should fall upon them. God will give them wisdom and bless them with many things. May the baby live eternally in the name of Jesus. I just want to wish them happy birthday and I, I want to say happy, I want to say God should bless them and God should bless their parents with more riches, more money and their parents should have more children. Children will count and then we cut the birthday cakes. We'll spell one. So let's start. O N E One Happy Birthday Happy Birthday to you Happy Birthday to you Happy Birthday Happy Birthday Happy Birthday to you I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not